So in the first year, you have, uh, let's say, three mandatory courses each term. Uh, one in microeconomics, so in the first period, that's industrial organization. In the second period, it's um, business economics. Uh, so the, the, the first period gives, the, if you want, these are the core courses that give students the, 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 the academic background that is going to be necessary in the second period. So that was for uh, microeconomics, IO and business economics. In uh, data science, you have applied econometrics one and two. And in corporate finance, you have uh, corporate finance and advanced corporate finance. So in the second terms, these courses are usually more applied and uh, designed to um, uh, teach the, to, to give the, the student the opportunity to make uh, projects. In the first term, there is a, a, a course, uh, an introduction to Python course too, that we found, uh, we thought was useful for students to develop um, new, uh, to, 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 to be able to master these techniques that are more and more important, especially when you deal with data. I think uh, the, the main takeaway from the first year is that you, in the first semester, you acquire very uh, strong and you, you get a very strong base in corporate finance, econometrics and, uh, and uh, industrial organization, so microeconomics. And then in the period two, we have the opportunity to sort of see how we can apply this knowledge that we have learned into the real world. So in year two, you also have um, uh, mandatory courses. There are two tracks. Basically, there is in the economic track for those students who want to do uh, consulting or um, work in strategy um, or want to do uh, to work with data, but in, in the in the economic in, in the industry, for instance. And there is a corporate finance track. Okay, so in the economic track. You have two mandatory courses in the first term and two in the second term. So these are firms and markets. So it's an advanced IO course, basically, and econometrics of competition in the first term. And in the second term, there is a big data course and one course dedicated to new markets, new technology, and the sharing economy. So that's the economic analysis of new markets, basically, of the digital economy. In the corporate finance track, you have the same data courses, so econometrics of competition and big data. And you have one course in the first term, term uh, called valuation of startups dedicated to um, the analysis of uh, va specific valuation techniques uh, for venture capital. So this course is taught by uh, Xavier Lazarus. And the, the, in the second term, there is a financial markets uh, course given by Philippe Tibi. Actually, we you have um, a, a series of electives, um, and you have one elective to choose each term in each year, and you can choose among the same pool of electives over the two years, which gives you the opportunity to to select uh, uh, two courses. If you are interested in two electives, you can choose uh, one each year. So in in the first period, you have uh, market design. You have environmental economics as well, so which is a, a, a course dedicated to all environmental issues, so in-depth analysis of all issues um, related to the environment. You have a courses on urban economics and the housing market, and two courses in finance, which is financial decision under risk and case studies in corporate finance. In the second period, you have several courses in economics so digital economics it's a specialization in in uh, in industrial organization um, related to digital markets a course in competition policy which is also taught by a professional uh, a course in supply chains which interests uh, it's not really a, uh, only an economic uh, approach but it interests uh, many students who want to to, to work uh, in, in the industry later. You have two uh, marketing courses. So one about Bayesian methods for ma marketing. So it's really um, data for marketing. And the other is a quantitative marketing seminar. I think both these courses are taught at NSAE. 
one of the partner uh, school in the in, in Institut Polytechnique de Paris. You have then some financial courses, for instance, merger and acquisition, again, a course taught at NSAE, behavioral finance, financial decisions and earn the risk too. So you have the, you, if you want to follow this course, you need to, to have followed financial decision and the risk one. Then you have two courses about blockchain, one about uh, FinTech and cryptocurrencies and the other about platform design. So all these courses are more specialized and they are usually uh, project oriented. So Atalant, which one did you choose and uh, what can you tell us about them? I studied urban economics, case studies in corporate finance and digital economics. In uh, urban economics, it was just out of uh, more um, uh, curiosity on how to understand, on understanding how uh, cities are evolving and what are at, what is at stake with uh, urbanization and so on. So that was extremely interesting and the teacher was a, uh, extremely passionate and uh, well, uh, well, he knew a lot about the topic, of course. Uh, cases in corporate finances was project-based and it was extremely interesting. And that's really what uh, got me on the, on the uh, like to a really good level of uh, corporate finance because you have to basically do an equity research report uh, of a, a, a publicly traded company. And so you have to go from the financial analysis to the business model evaluation to the valuation and to, and you really have to uh, dig deep into the corporate finance uh, uh, knowledge. So that was extremely interesting. And the teacher is fascinating as well. Um, and digital economics, I thought, I thought was particularly interesting because it's really um, uh, investigating the pricing strategies of uh, companies that basically don't make their customers pay so for instance if i go on facebook or if i go on uh, i don't know la fourchette or any or booking.com i don't pay but those companies make a lot of money and i think trying to understanding what is at stake for those companies to become famous uh, and to uh, become profitable is uh, extremely uh, valuable so i really enjoyed that as well 